Hello, my name is Paul Allard. I'm the product owner of Topaz for Total Test. And today I would like to demonstrate some new functionality that we introduced with the latest release of 18.2.1. We've introduced DB2 stubbing. And with a sample program, I would like to show you how we can use the expediter debug session to collect DB2 exec SQL statements and create stubs. I just launched my debug configuration. I'm going to hit the debug button and execute the program. Once the program starts, it stops right at the procedure division of my main program. Here I can do a right mouse click and I select the generate unit test option. This is the dialog box that will tell Expediter what to collect. The first thing I'm going to do is put a new project out there to collect my test data into. I'm going to call that Demo45. We also have new functionality to collect the DB2 stubs. As you can see, we have a maximum number of statements created set at 100. We also continue to have the Generate I.O. stubs and the Program stubs. At this point, I'm going to hit OK and resume executing my program. Once the program starts to execute, again, Expediter will be collecting all the exec SQL statements, the I.O., and the program stubs. Once the program finishes executing to the end, we are all set with Expediter. Expediter has now uh, collected all the data. It collected it using a live connection to DB2. And now I'd like to demonstrate how we can run the same uh, program using stubs. I now switch over to my Project Explorer perspective. I told Expediter to create a new project folder, which was Demo45. Within this folder, I have all my stubs that were created from my Expediter debug collection. One of the folders was an input file called Employee Read. What this automatically created was a read stub of the employee file. We're using the employee file to look up the employee number and do an open fetch update to the DB2 database. Along with the employee read stub, we collected the employee cursor SQL stub. What this stub shows is the exec SQL uh, declare statement for the cursor, the selection criteria that was used for this particular fetch, and we're fetching on the employee number, the uh, SQL execution statement, which is for the fetch, and then of course the results. We also show the return code. Now that we've shown you the stub, let's go ahead and run this test case. Under my scenario folder, I double click on my test case. There's a green button up in the right hand corner, which is the run scenario. I go ahead and click my use stubs, which will use all my stubs, including the input, output, and subprograms, which in this case I have a date routine, and of course my exec SQL stub. I go ahead and hit OK, and now this runs all the stubs uh, up on the mainframe in substitution of any kind of live connection. Once the test case finishes running, we get a test summary report. Within the report, one of the new additions we have is the stubs that were executed. Now we're going to list all the stubs and we show the target and the number of records. So again, thank you today. We showed you how we can stub out all exec SQL statements within a uh, DB2 program. This is new functionality that we added for the 18.2.1 release. Thank you for joining. Have a good day.